right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Medieval. Oh, I almost did it. I almost did it. I almost did it. I was halfway there. I was going to say Medieval Dynasty, but it's actually going Medieval now. So, uh, <laughs> back to back Medieval games, you know how it is. All right, so we're going to work on a research building. I think we'll probably utilize this uh, building here for a library slash uh, beginning of a research facility so that will allow us to start expanding a little bit more outwards uh we do have a few things that we need to continue and i think the game no the game is pl on play so we can go ahead and undo that now i need to keep an eye open for when these guys wake up because we need to go ahead and delete that block from the raid which we'll have to replace the floor but outside of that it shouldn't be too hard of a like too much of an issue to fix up the house. We did survive the raid and we got a new settler, so that's a huge bonus. Uh, once we get the research thing done, we can start building like an awning over this building and have our supply of things here a little bit more um, stable for keeping dry and stuff. But we need to make sure that we have a building for that to actually be situated. Now, what I'm gonna end up doing is I think I'm going to build it out one more block. I'm not sure if I need to do that, but um, actually I'm almost wondering if there is... I don't know, because there's so much snow I can't really tell if there's where the stone is. I wanted to go ahead and maybe mine some stone, like some limestone, but I'm not sure where all that limestone is says that's just soil yeah we'll have to wait until spring because I wanted to kind of put like kind of like a uh, stone wall here maybe but I don't know maybe we'll stick to wood all right so they're they're out there they've basically woken up now so that's good uh, we'll go ahead and build this up a little bit and we'll see what we can come up with. So maybe turn that to like sideways and we're going to need some room for bookshelves as well. So probably leave about, ooh, I don't know, um, about that much. Might put a window in here. Or maybe not. Maybe we won't, won't put any windows on the side. Uh, we will need a door, though. And I figure we'll put the door on this.
All right, so I got most of the um, first floor done. I'm just working on getting some of these little parts in. So we have uh, the same side as that, and then we can start working on the upper roof. So I'll take a little bit of time to do. I'm just setting up the roof tiles. Gotta make it look the same so it's symmetrical. Uh, normally you don't really need to do that, but I'm, I'm trying to keep it you know, making it look good and stuff, so we'll see if we can't get it all sorted out. And I think that's all we did for the... I think I had it on pause, whoops. <laughs> Are they sleeping? Yeah, we can fast forward then. Um, yeah, so basically that's what I'm, what a roof currently looks like. We might actually go ahead and expand out the door, maybe? I don't know. Um, let's go ahead, because we have our window there, right? So... Maybe we can do an extended door part like that. And we'll go ahead and fix these up. So it's the same kind of material like that. It's hard to see on this level, but uh, we'll go ahead and set up the door like that. So we can do a roof. Uh, forget how to rotate like that, I guess. And then we can do the same roof kind of design over on this side. Uh, they're playing backgammon now. So I, I did set their schedule a little bit so they can basically focus on a few different things. Uh, the schedule is leisure um, and then that will allow them to do certain activities and stuff like that. And then the other one is for um, work, which is allows them to do skill-based professions, tasks, stuff like that, and then there's also anything and sleep. So sleep obviously tells them to sleep at certain hours. Anything will basically be like anything between those few things. So I'm actually going to expand out this window as well, uh, just so we have something a little bit different on this side, I think. And I'm going to scroll down. I know that they have the ladder set up there, but it's, I don't know if it's going to be stable for everything. So we're just going to put that down there. They're going to be working on the floor for this place. And actually, can I? Yeah, it's, it's still not suitable just yet. So hopefully when they get some of these parts built in, we'll be able to put the... Um, things in there else what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to like set up something across here we could actually you know what there's actually quite a bit of room on these sides here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate the first floor into
All right, so currently I got the building done. Uh, we got this uh, nice building. It'll be easier to see during the day, which is um, kind of a downside <laughs> of recording, I guess, the way that I'm recording. But um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to take a look at what it looks like uh, during the day. I think I like how it looks. Uh, the roof looks really good, the way that it's set up. Uh, settler is exhausted, so... Hopefully we'll have both of the um, things built. I don't know if he was able to build it just yet. No, not yet. So hopefully by morning uh, we'll be able to get the um, thing all built for the... Um, I can't remember what church it is. It's the other church. We have the Oak Baron on the bottom and then the other ones on the top. And then the, the research building or the research areas right in here just enough space to actually have everything but um might expand to a future building just for the library specifically in the future but i'm not sure what we'll end up using this for but it, it's a good design of a building um winter is officially the last day so we'll be moving on to spring which means farming and we should probably start considering um, getting some fortifications built uh, around a perimeter of an area so we can start working on making sure our people are safe. So once we have that all settled, like this building set up, then what we can focus on is maybe figuring out where we're going to be putting our fortifications. And um, we have all this side over here that we can consider building to... I'm not sure if there's any ramps or anything like that on this side, but we might be able to fence it around up to this part right here. So maybe we can do something like that. I'm not sure. And then we can focus on putting a gate somewhere on a specific side, but that's going to take some time to figure out because we need to know how much space we're going to be utilizing to build and stuff like that. And if we need to chop some stuff down or move stuff then we're gonna probably have to like remove some of the landscaping and stuff like that and we don't know where we're gonna be mining yet either so that's always a consideration of where we're gonna be actually building to mine and the resources and all that other stuff because we don't want them traveling too far but we also want um defensive uh, techniques and stuff so anyhow um i think starting at this point right here would probably be
Alrighty then, so we got uh, quite a bit of stuff done today. I got that building finally situated and built, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, we'll probably make uh, similar buildings to it uh, later on, uh, but I, I think this is a good start uh, for basically just getting things situated and stuff like that. So uh, in the future, I wouldn't mind moving the, um, the ladder or the stairs over a little bit so we have more room uh, to do stuff with and maybe get um, a few other things. I also started building the wall around our place to fortify it a little bit more and that's going to take a little well a lot more wood uh, to build and stuff like that but we need to get agriculture set up and start working on that. Uh, the problem is we don't have enough research points to do that. Uh, we have five at the moment. It's going to take another five in order to unlock agriculture, uh, which will be able to um, unlock and start producing food as well as more wood and resources. So um, our one of our guys is generally working on that. It's uh, Sylvester, so we'll be able to uh, get that all situated hopefully pretty soon. We're already on day two for spring, so I hope to get the farming set up pretty pretty quickly. <laughs> well, I just need to figure out where to put it. Uh, looks like we have a lot of area we can put it, so uh, there's no limitation really. Outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.